All right. Hey guys, this is Chris with Hilux Optics. We're back again at Angeli Shooting Range, and today we're going to take the M1200 from on the ground to on target. So we just pulled out this M1200 out of the box. Uh, it's still, it hasn't been zeroed, so we're going to take you and show you the process of getting it all dialed in. So normally, the M1200 is calibrated for meters, but there is a way to dial it in for yards. We actually com computed the ballistics for 300 yards, for 300 yards zero. And, uh, if you don't know how, to, uh, you can do, follow our tutorial on using JBM Ballistics. We're going to be shooting the 175 grain Sierra Match Kings. It's the federal gold medal match. And uh, let's see. So over here, we're going to first determine our camp setting. So because our max effective range today, we're only going to be able to shoot that to 600. Let's just get it dialed in, really dialed in for 600. So on page 14 of the manual, you'll notice actually page 16 of the manual, there's a drop chart in MOA. So we're going to just look at, ignore the meters here, we actually calibrate it for yards. So this just tells you what, when you dial the cam to, let's say, let's, let's say if you dial the cam to 600, this chart just tells you how much dope it's giving you. So let's see, our, our dope data says we need around 10 MOA to 600 yards. So 600 yard table, okay. We'll probably need to be around setting 520. So let's get our cam set up real quick. I'm going to be a little bit, it's going to be a little bit low at 400 and 500 yards. So I'll have to adjust by holding high. But the art series, the art scope is one of those scopes that'll get you practical accuracy. When you need to be fast in the field, you don't need electronics. You can just dial, frame, aim, and shoot, and it'll get you a hit in the center of mass. So right now we're going to set the cam to 520. Cool. So, to set the cam setting, you just need to loosen the second screw on the calibration ring. I'm just going to loosen it a tad so it frees it up. So now, there's an arrow on the trajectory cam, but you got to line up on the, the calibration ring. So right here, it's currently set for 550. Let's just move it down a couple tick marks. All right, now it's around 520. Great. I'm going to lock it back down. Great. Now let's verify that the cam setting is set properly. So as you rotate the cam, you'll notice that the base is elevating and also the air pump stays on setting 520. Cool. I think we're good. Now let's mount it on our rifle. So today I'm shooting a Remington 700, a true Remington 700 that I dropped into the MDT ACC chassis. Let me just check the eye relief. to be a little bit further back. All right, that's perfect. Tighten it down the thumb tight. Great. All right, so if you're using a ballistic calculator that gives you the data, uh, you can actually do a quick zero at a closer distance. So this needs to be zeroed in at 300 yards in order for the, the cam setting to work properly, for the cam to properly calibrate. If you don't have access to meters, you can actually calibrate this in yards too. So like, like what we're doing today, we're actually going to set it up for 300 yards out to 1,200 yards. So because we don't have the ability to put a target out at 300 yards today, which is where, what this data is zeroed at, we're actually just going to use this line over here. So we have a target out at 100. We need to be about four inches high for our point of impacts. I would prefer to do it at 25 yards, just because the closer the target is, the easier it is to see. Um, but uh, our target right now is set at 100, so we're going to just run with it. Great. So I got it mounted. Now, uh, take the rifle back to our shooting position. So we need to be four inches high at 100 yards. So when you're zeroing, it, you have to keep it, if you're using automatic mode, which is the cams all connected together, you have to keep it at six power. If you, if you turn the cam to a higher power in automatic mode, 
you'll see that it's adding external elevation. A workaround to this is you can actually be in manual mode. So when I pull the, this ring back and disengage the pins, now when I turn the magnification ring, it doesn't add any, mag it doesn't add any external elevation. So this is automatic mode with the two tabs touching. As you see, when I'm turning this, it's adding external elevation in the rear of the base. So when I'm zeroing, I like to see the target a little bit closer. So I'm going to probably use manual mode for this. Let me grab my magazine. Well, we're back from the ceasefire, and uh, we actually took this opportunity to move the target a little bit closer. They wouldn't let us set it at 25 yards, but we got it out at 50 yards. So according to the ballistic data, we need to be 1.3 inches high at 50 yards. So I'm going to get this sighted in at 50, and then we'll try to take it out to 300 and out to 600. This is, uh, we're shooting the M1200 XLR, and this is on a Remington 700 and 308. All right, let's try to get this sighted in. Parallax set. Nice. Super clear. Alright, so I need to be at an inch and a half high. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to go for the right target. Alright, let's get back on. Bottom of the line. Yep. You three need inches to go high. Down three inches and right one inch. All right. So I need to be about 1.3 inches high. So. Oh, okay. Then down two. Right one. Right one inch. So this, this shot should put us pretty close to zero depth, or where we want to be. Going for the base of the line. Oh, I'm empty. Yeah, I'm going to load up some more rounds. All right, let me just do one more. I think we're we're ready to take it out. All right. Butterfly, two of them. This much high, and one went to the right. Okay. I think we're pretty close. I'll just do one more, just for good measure. Bring it down one click. It's 
hard to breathe with these masks on. All right, I'm going for that base of the red line again. I need to be 1.3 inches high. Perfect. All right. That's where we want to be. I'm going to load up some more and now we're going to take it out to 300 and see if we can hit the targets. So rectangle. So I'm still in manual mode right now. I'm going to dial it up so I can see the target a little bit better. Okay, so 300. All right, I'm going to get parallax. All right, I'm going to hold center of mass. All right, cool. Try 400. Yep. So I'm, I'm gonna dial in manual mode. So I have the four on the, the arrow on the eyepiece lined up with the four on the calibration ring. The calibration ring serves as the the distance indicator for the cam. So right now it's approximately set for 400 yards. All right. Let's take it out to the red square. Contact. Nice. Five. Ram. Let's go for the ram. Go 600 now. Hang man. Hang man. Hang it, 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 Nice. There you go. So that was from out, out of the box onto the rifle, dialed it in at 25 yards, and we got hit down to 600. I'm going to finish off the mag. Let me get one, a couple more at six, uh, this guy. Yep. All right, I'm going to hold left edge on the target. Going high. Uh, just over the head, slightly to the right. Hit center. Hit me. Hit. Hit me. All right. It's pretty dialed in. I was just holding left edge around center of mass and it was going. Ooh, it's hot. You're on. All right, so there you have it. We uh, took it out of the box and got on target at 600 yards. So when I was at 600, I started noticing I was shooting a little bit high. 
So as a general rule of thumb, once you're calibrating your cam set, if you're shooting high, go high. If you shoot low, go a little lower. So what that means is my cam setting was originally set at 520. Because I was shooting high, I would I adjusted it to 530, or you can go maybe even to 540 if you're shooting a really high. And uh, alternatively, if I were shooting low, you could adjust the cam setting lower. So original setting is 520, I could go down to 510 or 500. So once you get it dialed in, we recommend you don't mess with your internal adjustment and just adjust the cam setting for that fine, uh, fine tuning the bolt placement. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Go to uh, www.hyluxoptics for more information. Thanks.